People living in the neighborhoods where the shootings have happened are worried about the violence. For one mother, it brings back painful memories. Last year, police say Antonio Franklin was shot and killed while at Duncan Park. Since then, his mother has made it her mission to stop violence around the city, especially when there's an increase in shootings. Jordan Valines has her message to crime victims. The start of June has brought with it a cascade of violence in Lexington. And it's just getting out of hand. One shooting after another has left six people injured, three dead. Every time there are some shootings reported, you relive what you've experienced in the past. Anita Franklin's past marked with memories of last summer when her son Antonio Franklin was an innocent bystander when he was shot and killed in Duncan Park. I wanted all the information available about his death from the time he was injured to the time he laid on the ground to the time he made it to the hospital. I want to know all that information and if you call that snitching, then that's what you want to call it. After Sunday's fatal shootings, it seemed that anyone who spoke with us or the police was being called a snitch. And police say that's the problem. They say in order to stop the violence, they have to have people speak up. If you know something, if you see something, say something. Does that make me a snitch? You call me whatever you want to call me. Franklin says finding the people responsible for these shootings holds far more importance than being called a name. You have to report what you see. It could be you next. It could be your family member. It could be your child. In Lexington, Jordan Valines for the Fox 56 10 o'clock news. A peace walk is being planned in Lexington for next week in an effort to find ways to stop the violence.